Hello everybody, and welcome back to European War 4. This time, I want to conquer France, which, if you look, they only have this coast artillery, um, these two ships, uh, no units past this area right here, no units past there, at least I think. That island, and that ship which is about to be taken out. Let's actually take that out right now. There we are. All we have to do is take over that island and get rid of that coast artillery and those two ships, and that's it. They're conquered. They also have, uh, yeah, that's Napoleon right there in England. Actually, let's turn out the volume just a tad bit. That's a bit too loud. So yeah, this episode I don't want to make too long because I've had a pretty exhausting day. I just want to go to bed, really. Or take a nap, I should say. Yeah, we had um, EOC testing. Worst shit I've ever done in that school. Not because it was hard, but because it took up so much time. So, uh, yeah. And I couldn't go to sleep during that entire time. It was hell. Um, in turn, I just feel like making a short episode. So, yeah, like I said, this time I want to take out France. Um, I want to get down to Naples. Actually, no, no, not that. Let's take out all the units in what used to be Italy. Just all these units still lingering around, because I don't want them there. I definitely don't want them there. So, let's uh, get rid of them. And I would also like to take over Zaragoza, but I don't know. Yeah, I think that we could take it out. Get that cannon up there. We could definitely do it. So yeah, I want to close in on Spain. I want to take, like, this line right here. Like, along this river. You see? I want to take that. So that's my basic goal for this episode. So let's actually get all these units moved. Um, just for the record, would you guys like to see me cut through me just, like, moving units and stuff? I don't know. Like, if I were watching Let's Play and I had to sit through this, I would get kind of bored, but it's whatever you guys want, because you're the ones watching, of course. I don't know. I just don't want to seem lazy because I don't cut through these parts. I just don't cut through them because you guys haven't said anything bad about it. But if you really want me to cut through it, then I can. My editing isn't that bad. Alright, let's take Barcelona. There we are. Well, we've pretty much already accomplished my goal over in Spain. Now all we need is uh, Zaragoza, Zaragoza, however you want to say it. I am not Spanish. I uh, never claimed I was. Sorry, I'm in a... <laughs> I'm being a bit too extra today. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be in a good mood. But in reality, I've had a pretty shit day. I was trying to be in a good mood, like I said. Alright, so I'm just going to completely pass up all these Spanish units and Sardinia, all of them. I'm just going to pass them up because they really don't have much to do with Spain. I mean, not Spain, France. So I'm going to be sending all these ships down to take out these. Um, let's start sending troops from Torino and Milan, Milan, however you want to say it. Oh, shit, I can use this dock also. Oh, that's going to make this a hell of a lot easier. But yeah, we need to start sending some units over to take over. I'm not even going to try to say that. I know, if I mispronounce something, then I'm going to get my ass fucking chewed out by you guys in the comments. So I'm just not going to say anything, which I think is a wise decision. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I also really want to push back the Ottomans. Uh, they're really advancing. And Russia, they're trying to do something about them, which I do appreciate, but they aren't being fast enough. I need to be fast about this, because they are making progress. 
I've got like, holy, I got him like a fucking iron wall over in Spain. That's awesome. I'm sorry if you guys hear any background noise, by the way. Ah, oh, damn, I was hoping that would have killed those guards so they could make a better unit. Oh, that cavalry's probably gonna take Rome. I can get it back. I think I can. Let's see. Or really, oh, can we take on Napoleon, like, right now? Yes, we can. And there you have it. In this alternate history, Prussia kills Napoleon. I had to use so many units to kill him. Oh my god, that took way too long. Alright, well, I don't actually think I'll need that many units for this island. Because these ships are going to do the majority of the work. Let's uh, just send over these two units and this guard to take out the uh, coast artillery. Because I don't trust my ships with that. I definitely don't. Uh, how close is this dock? Hopefully this cannon... Damn it! Oh, alright, alright. So we can make a unit in Rome. I thought that cavalry was gonna take it out, and then you know they can move one more time after they take a unit out. Like this right here. I thought that was going to happen and I'd lose Rome, but thankfully that didn't happen. Alright, well, we seem to be making a ton of progress in the Italian peninsula. Alright, let's take over that dock so that we can send down some more ships. They're going to be damaged, but we can still send them down. Hmm. My ships are going to get destroyed by that coast artillery down here. Oh well. There's no other way to do it, so I might as well just deal with it. Yeah, like I said last episode, the Ottomans really don't have good units. And I'm wondering why they don't make better ones. I mean, they're certainly capable of making better ones. They have... Good amount of upgrade cities, it's just... Uh, I really don't know why they aren't sending down better units. Maybe they're having an iron shortage like I am. I don't have that much iron, I'm assuming that they don't either. Let's see how much... Uh, let's see. Oh, yep, that's the problem. They barely have any factories. Alright. So they're having an iron shortage, and that's why they're only making stuff like militia and line infantry. I see. Uh, should I even worry about this dock right now? Eh, I have nothing better to do. Hmm. I have an idea. I don't think it'll work, but it's... It's an idea. And there we are. I have already accomplished my goal for Spain. That is awesome. We should definitely send some units down from Bordeaux. Because Barcelona is not going to supply the, um, the assault very well. I could have used better words there, but we're just going to go with it. I sound like fucking Porky Pig today. Why can't I talk? <laughs> I guess I sound like him every day. I can never talk. Hmm. I have no use for these two generals, and it really bothers me because they're good generals. Maybe I'll use them as Spain ever sends units up, which they probably won't, but I'm just trying to keep my hopes up. Alright, we can go and skip the turn. Uh, yeah, they're already coming over, uh, coming under fire from that coast artillery, but it didn't do as much damage as I expected it to, which is... Oh... 
Well, that just cut me off. I forgot what I was going to say. So, I see Spain is going to try to make forts and stuff in the territory that it still has. Which does piss me off about this game. Is that you have to take out all their stuff in order to, to conquer their country. And so that means that they can just keep on making forts and keeping their country. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, it's really the AI's fault. Well, easy text fault, I should say. Alright. I think that we're only going to need that one guard and that one... I think that's mil yeah, that's militia. Hmm. Oh, they just fucked themselves over right here. Oh, they got themselves trapped in Florence. They thought they were making a good move. Well, they just trapped themselves right there. That's how I'm going to get over to this side. I've been having trouble because they've been blocking this, which is why I wanted to take them out so desperately. But now that they've taken Florence, I can just send all my units up and, like, curve around. You see? Oh, that helped me out a ton. Alright, see if we can sneak, sneak this ship around to get over to that French position down here. The only thing I'm worried about is this cavalry. Uh, not necessarily the general, but I'm just scared that he will hold up my units. Hmm. So I should really stop making units down here um, in my Ottoman assault because I really don't need them. I mean, look at that. He only took 8 damage there. So for right now, I can just stop sending units because these guys are definitely not going to be taken out anytime soon. Uh, my guys, I mean. I think that the only reason why we would send down more units is to take out this cannon right here. Which is going to take a bit to get to anyway. So uh, yeah, let's just send over these units and not make any more. Uh, stop wasting all the food. Hmm. I might change my mind, though. We do have a lot of food. Yeah, food is something that people tend to ignore in this game, but it's actually really important. You need to watch your food. And if you don't, then your units are going to lose a ton of morale, which is going to... Really, really ruin your army. Trust me, I've done it. It's it's not good. Always keep your units supplied with food. Like I was doing a Switzerland conquest, and um, well, I had to go take out Poland. Yeah, this was in uh, the New Age mod. I had to go take out Poland, and I was doing so bad, but Poland actually lost a ton of their farms to me and um the Holy Roman Empire I think I think it was the Holy Roman Empire they ended up losing like all their farms to us and their troops morale just dropped insanely and we managed to turn over that conquest it was insane so yeah, since then I've always kept a very close eye on food all right and I think that we can end the turn well I just spent about Two minutes explaining food in a video game. Oh, I guess that's why people subscribe to me. Huh. I don't really know why I'm even moving these units over in the UK. I guess I'll just take their farms. Because the UK is not a great ally anyway. They stole all this land up here that I wanted. I really wanted Amsterdam. So, yeah, we're gonna be pretty mean to the UK and <laughs> there's just one thing about this game is that for some reason our ally does not care about losing farms it's a it's a big thing in this game because that means that they'll just go through your lane and take your farms 
Alright, I'm getting way off subject. I should just quit. Yeah, easy tech. Um, if any of you developers are watching right now, I just want to say the next game, please, please make it to where the AI doesn't just go through your land without getting your permission first. There should be like a message option to see if your ally can go through your land. Because it pisses me off seeing an ugly border. Hmm. I don't think that we're going to take out France this time. They're just too far away. I think that we're going to have to advance further down the Italian Peninsula for that. Yeah. Alright, we're not going to take France this time. I don't think that we are. But we will definitely work towards it, and we will do it next episode. Yeah, there's just too many enemy ships down here. They're going to hold me up. Oh, wait, no, no, what am I doing? Send him over here. There we are. <clears throat> oh, and we can finally take Venice. Uh, thank you, Aus Uh, wait, no, no, that's a sec. Oh, shit. All right, well, I guess that's good enough. Uh, we didn't have to conquer France, we conquered Italy. Alright, well that's good enough for me for an episode. Alright, let's go and finish this up and then we'll call it an episode. I had no idea that that was their last place. If I'd known that, then I would have been more excited about getting Venice. Alright, yeah, let's just use these units over in the Ottoman territory and then we'll call it an episode. Mm, no, we don't have to worry about these two. This Coast Artillery will take them out. Alright, I'm gonna try not to go too far ahead into Ottoman territory. Just in case they have good units and I just don't know it. Maybe they'll make good units as soon as I get closer to their capital. So, I won't get too ahead of myself. Let's just... Let's hold up around right here. Just gather my forces and then make an actual assault rather than my units being spread out. Um. Yeah, I think that's good enough for an episode. Um, once again, I'm sorry that this episode wasn't as long as the others, but. Well, well just like I said at the beginning of the episode, I've had a pretty shit day, so I'm just gonna go take a nap. So I hope that you all did enjoy this. Even though we didn't take out France like we planned on, we managed to take out Italy, which is good enough for me. And uh, that's all I have to say. Goodbye.